The city of Austin says streets are becoming safer for drivers. A new report shows a drop in serious crashes. KVU's Maria Aguilera spoke with transportation officials about some of the changes they made to make this happen. She joins us now in the studio. Hi, Maria. Hey, Derenisha. Well, between 2017 and last year, a third of crashes that resulted in serious injury or death happened at signalized intersections. So the city's transportation department has been making changes at those high crash intersections, and they say it's making a difference. At major intersections in Austin, safety improvements have led to a decrease in serious crashes. It's part of the Austin Transportation Department's Vision Zero program, with the goal of eliminating serious injuries and fatalities on Austin's roadways. One of the main focuses of Vision Zero is going back and redesigning our streets to be in alignment with things we know to be safe and that can reduce crashes. Joel Meyer, a program manager with Vision Zero, says since 2016, ATD has completed work at 19 major intersections. 13 of those have at least one year of data. We've seen some really promising results with this early data. A new report shows a 31% decrease in annual crashes, resulting in death or serious injuries. Before the improvements, there were 12 of those crashes. It dropped down to 8.3 after. Oftentimes when we look, look at these statistics, we sort of forget that these are real people involved in crashes. They're our family, our friends, our, our neighbors that are really impacted by, by these severe crashes. And so when we see numbers and we see the reductions that we're seeing, we know that that's really making an impact on people's lives in our community. Meyer says other benefits to these improvements is reduced traffic congestion for drivers caused by crashes and fewer public safety resources needed to respond. Reducing the potential for conflicts will over time reduce crashes and will reduce injuries. And so we're, we're happy to see that reflected in the data. And they're not finished with safety improvements just yet because by the end of this year, four more projects are scheduled to begin construction. Dear Anisha. Great news, Maria. Thank you.